Hello and welcome. Welcome to my channel. My name is Cree and I'm here with another important word for you guys today. Yesterday I, I talked about trust um, and how we can secure ourselves in knowing who to trust and how to trust them because we need people. People need people. We all need each other. We need people to run our businesses, etc., etc. So that was that was yesterday's message. But I have another very important message for you guys today that I don't think y'all ready for. So get ready. Um, it gets real. Today I will be talking about go out there. Today I will be talking about um, love spells. Love spells are real. People do love spells on people. It's demonic. It's a sin. It's not natural, but it's very common. You will be surprised how many people are bewitched right now in this hour. Um, there's usually a agenda behind it. It's not love. There's always an agenda behind it. It's not love. And I want to talk about it because I experienced this in my wilderness in the beginning Walk away, please. Um, I have symptoms that you may have when being bewitched that the caster will put on you, how you will know that something is not right and, and I've been bewitched. I'm going to start with, because there, there's different categories, different people. Um, who may experience these attacks? This is an this is an attack. Um, on your life, because this stuff can get really deep, especially if a person really knows what they're doing. Hmm. So. One of the symptoms are, I'm going to talk about the, the one where you may be you may find yourself in a, being bewitched by a person that you may not even like. Okay? You not intimately, at, at least. So, now, Asia. My apologies. So, you may be bewitched by a person who you may not even like. And all of a sudden, you're having a lot of thoughts. You're thinking about this person often. And you're wondering... Why do I keep thinking about this person? This person is in my dreams. Um, I'm at work. I'm trying to work. I'm thinking about this person heavily. And I don't even like this person. It's, it's weird to you. It's not the the thoughts are, are good or, or, poss or romantic or whatever. But it's weird because you know that you don't even look at this person in this type of way. You You've never... Or you, you didn't, you know, you, you never wanted to be intimate with this person or, or build with this person in that type of way. Um, the energy that you receive is, is it's like a bond. Now, the enemy is a copycat and he, he tries to do things like God does it. So you will feel like this telepathic bond between you and the caster um another another category of people who might have to who might experience this is more like couples couples so for instance you're in a in a relationship with your husband with your wife with your boyfriend with your girlfriend and there's someone else who's interested in your wife or your husband. That someone else is the caster. 
your relationship will can possibly just hit rock bottom. Um, you will feel like whether whether it's the man or the woman, you will feel like you don't even want to be with this person anymore. Um, you want to be with the caster for some reason. All of a sudden, you you having a a strong emotion, an energetic bond with the caster, and and as far as your relationship, that was possibly perfectly fine. Now you're ready to leave it. Another um, category of people is, for instance, you're in a relationship with your your um, your woman or your your, your man, your, your boyfriend, girlfriend, your spouse, your wife, your husband, and it's on rocky terms, bad terms. And one of the um, either you or your partner is desperate. So they may they they may seek um, information on how to do a love spell on their own husband, wife, boyfriend, girlfriend, man, you know, um, just so they can be attached to them. Uh, they may they may feel a, a breakup coming or a divorce coming, and and it's like desperate measures. There's always a, an agenda behind it, though. It's not love. It's more like I might I may need this I need this person to do this. I need this person to be close to me so I can wheel them in for this reason or that that reason whatever the reason may be. Um for me in my experience, I believe it was because the man that I was with was with was trying to be with other people and I was I was I'm I'm I usually feel like I'm not gonna cheat on you. If it's so bad, I'm I will leave before I cheat on you. Cause I don't I don't wanna share my goods with this person and you. But I but I'm a human being, so if I care or love you, then of course I'm gonna work with you and forgive you. But he knew that he knew the type of person that I was. So my I believe that the reason for me being bewitched was just so that I can accept what he was doing. Because when you're bewitched like that, it doesn't matter what you go through or what happens, you're it's like you're stuck. I'm not I'm not leaving this man. The thought of leaving this man is killing me already we're not even at that point so but what do, what do i see what why would i stay why would i say do i feel do i think that is is um it, it will be better can get better i don't think that there's no hope because he's constantly doing it right um i don't know if there's any hope because he's constantly doing it this is just my experience. And I found out that the person was dealing and dabbling in dark arts here and there. Um, from what I knew, from what I found out, because of course I didn't know right away. But um I knew that I didn't want to leave this person no matter what. And I didn't understand why. How could I be mistreated? Not necessarily. You know, it was just I was just I was looking like the stupid one. Like, okay, he's never gonna stop doing this. And you're never gonna go anywhere. You're never gonna there's never gonna be a solution to this problem. It's just this is just what it is. The Lord will allow things like this to happen until you get a clue, until you realize. Because if you're with a person like that and, and they're bewitching, cause you, and you never really know, but they're doing this to you, you know, God is a revealer, especially with his children. Now, we, we may be covered in the blood of Jesus, but if we're still deciding to 
to be with this person, dealing with this person, he's going to allow them to keep doing it because you haven't really learned from it. That's just one lesson. You know, there's different strokes for different folks, but that's just one lesson. That's just one reason why the Lord will allow these things to happen. Um, you're not going to leave this person and he will allow this to keep happening. So you got to, you got to be strong in the Lord. And I almost got really super personal, <laughs> but, um, yeah, you gotta, you gotta be strong in the Lord and it will backfire once you come to your senses and realize that, nope, I don't care. I'm not dealing with this. This is not the, this is not my portion. Okay. This is not what, what God has for me. It's gonna, it's gonna fade. It's gonna fade and you'll be able to move on and live your life. But if you come to that conclusion, like oh, I'm done. And then you go back in the trance, you weren't done. You still dealt with it. And I'm, I don't know every way that these spells are even done. Um, I've heard of some different things. I know the most potent is usually during a type of sexual intercourse that may involve um, candles, drugs, liquor. Um, and then I know that sometimes people use your clothing. There's so much stuff that these folks got going on. Um, these witches and these warlocks. I've learned a lot of it though. So, um, I'm just, I'm trying to help. Okay. You may feel sad for no apparent reason. And the, the image of the caster will appear in your mind. This means that the caster is sad. And you can feel their emotions. So you may be sad about something and you don't understand why. Your caster, that bond, that, that spell, that energy is feeling emotional about something. And you can feel it. Or it may be a universal thing where there's a like a full moon or something and the potent of the, the spell. It's, the spell is more potent and... Um, those are effects that you will get um, for marriage or long-term commitments. You may feel your attention and affection instantly shifted from your partner. I think I talked about this to the caster. If you're in a relationship and you feel the need to leave it for your caster, your loyalty will go to the caster and you will no longer want to be intimate with your partner. You will come to a point where you are willing to do or give up everything to be with the spell caster. You won't care what others will say about you. Only thing on your mind is the caster. For stronger or constant love spells, you will love them more than your own life. You may act like a slave or become like a, a martyr. You will follow and believe whatever the caster says. You will no longer know your value. You will lose your family, your friends, and your world will revolve around the, the caster without you even realizing it. Um, so... Not only I didn't experience that because it didn't go that far, but I know I have some family members that I love very, very much, and it got to that point with them and their partner. They were gone. They were so far in love that it didn't matter what they did. Um, they weren't going anywhere. 
the, their partner can tell them anything and not even thinking logically or paying attention to what was being said, they would um, believe them, whatever. They could tell them whatever, even if it didn't make sense. So, not cool at all. It, it was... It was heartbreaking, honestly. Um, if your partner or spouse casts this, this type of spell on you, you may feel it is love, but you will be obsessed with him or her, and your relationship will become toxic. You will stay because of the thought. I think I, I did break this down. You will stay because of the thought of, of not being with that person is overwhelming and um or with them being with another person you can feel the cast's energy if they're always they will feel like it's you can feel their energy the cast's energy as if they were all always with you like like you like you need to you need to get to them like they're they're always there they're always on your mind you know um, it's a, it's an obsession. It it becomes an obsession for the person who's not the caster, but for the person that they're casting the spell on. Um, that if it get, that's if it gets to that point, like I said, if you don't, if you can't leave that situation, they're gonna keep doing it. Especially even when you feel like you're um, healing from the situation. So, um, you don't really like the, if you don't really like the person, but, but you're dreaming about them. So you don't really like this person. Why am I thinking about this person so strongly? I don't, I've never thought intimately of this person. Um, I've never, you know, it, it becomes weird. This sin will backfire. This is a sin from the pit of hell, and it will backfire. As soon as you learn whatever lesson there is, only you will know, you know, because God, he gives signs. He wonders, and he, he lets you know in all type of different ways. Um... Once you come to that, that understanding of what's going on and, and make the right decision to, to come up with uh, um, the, the right resolution, those feelings, they'll, they'll be easier to deal with. The spell will. But if you put yourself in a predicament to be bewitched again, then... Um, then yeah, you will be bewitched again. <laughs> so I have, I believe, uh, how to identify. Mm. How can I? There's always an agenda behind it. They may need you around for some reason. They may be casting this spell on you because they need you. They need your connection. They need you for, it could be um, financial reasons or maybe they don't, they don't want you, but they don't want to see you with someone else. Um, there's all type of lessons for different folks, different strokes, different folks. God is trying to tell you that you need to. Get away from that situation. Do something about that situation. Now, if it's real love, do we know what real love is? We know what real love is. Love doesn't hurt. I know people say love hurts. You go through things, but love feels good. Um, love isn't manipulation. It isn't deception. Um especially to the point where you want a person to be so crazy in love with you, that's sick, that, that they're obsessed. Um, mm -hmm. 
how how are these people learning how to do these things? It's becoming more common. They're learning this from which doctors. They're going to places. They're seeing people. They may even know somebody who does these things, who shows them how to do these things. And it's a sin from the pit of hell. It will backfire. You know, I don't know how long it may take. It can make it can take years if you don't catch on. Yeah. It took years. It took it took me maybe about a year. But for the the women that I knew, it took them years. Well, that's all I got for you guys today. I hope this lesson was um very in in very important it was an important message i hope that this message helped someone helped you or someone that you may even know these signs are real um love spells are real real it's usually done through intercourse or objects took into the witch it's a lot going on in the world right now with this witchcraft and I'm not afraid to talk about it. Some people may be afraid to talk about it because it's embarrassing. And some people might feel like, oh, this person and that person ain't going to believe me. And they're going to think I'm crazy. But that's not my situation. I'm going to talk about it. I, I want you guys to know you it's your choice to believe me or not. But I'm definitely going to put it out there. I want to help you. I want to help Whoever, I don't want nobody being tricked, manipulated, deceived, mistreated. Um, and I have no problem with doing that. So, if you have any questions, talk to me about it. And I'll tell you what I know. This, this message, this word was so, so neat. It was pressed on me. I got so I had I got so much um I had so many it, it it just wouldn't wouldn't leave my spirit. So yes, it wouldn't leave my spirit. Early this morning, as soon as I woke up, it was like, you know, you need to put this out. And the day is almost over, but I think I had a clearer mind earlier, but I was so busy today. I hope this blesses someone. Have a good day. Have a blessed, blessed evening, and I'll talk to you guys later. Goodbye.